Hey everyone, welcome back to Simple Time Recipes, and today we're going to be doing adult grilled cheese. This was suggested by a friend of mine, Allison, and when I heard adult grilled cheese, my mind immediately went to bacon and caramelized onions. Don't know why, but that's what we're working with today. We have bacon, onions, salt, pepper, French bread, butter, and a three cheese blend. The three cheeses I'm using are sharp provolone, mild cheddar, and creamy gouda. You can use any combination that you so want, but these are the three that I thought would work well together. With that being said, let's get started. First, we're gonna get started with the onions because that's actually gonna take the longest to cook through. When caramelizing onions, you wanna go slow and low. It's gonna be about probably 20 minutes before you start seeing them get really soft, they'll get brown. You can add a little bit of salt and sugar during the time period to help it along. While the onions are going, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the bacon. I'm gonna lay the strips in my air fryer. The air fryer cooks them in about six to seven minutes, nice little crispy bits. You can also pan fry or bake your bacon. With our 20 minutes coming to a close, back to the onions now, and those guys are looking good. As you can see, caramelizing your onions will reduce the size of your onions. I used about two for this recipe. Just keep that in mind when you're cooking yours. Now that our fillings are in order, go ahead and butter the bread. We're gonna do one side and sprinkle it with some salt and pepper and then flip over the bread once it's buttered. We're working with a four layered system here, so we're gonna start with some cheese. Top the cheese with the onion, top the onion with bacon, and then top the bacon with more cheese. It's gonna look like a pretty large stack, but once you get it on the heat, it's gonna reduce down in size. So let's stop playing around and put these on a hot pan with some olive oil. These guys are gonna cook fast, so make sure to flip them after a few minutes to avoid burning. You can also give them a light press to make sure that all the ingredients are getting sandwiched in there. With them all crispy and golden brown, we're going to go ahead and plate them up. Then I'm going to serve this up with a bowl of tomato bisque. Nothing fancy, just Campbell's soup. I did spruce it up, however, with a little bit of pepper and some cheese. Moving on to the cross section, though. And this will be determined by what kind of cheese you buy. Apparently, the blend I made did not result in a gooey cheese that was going to stretch once we pulled this apart but that gooey stretch does not determine how good it's gonna taste. And these tasted awesome. But I suppose it's up to you to decide. This was a great suggestion. Thanks again, Allison. That's all I got for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And keep the suggestions coming because next video will feature another suggestion alongside a family recipe. And here's a shot of yours truly taking out a fourth of the sandwich in one bite because I eat as if it's my last day on earth. And there it goes. Once again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. And above all else, stay strong and cook on. See ya.